Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once again. Um, this video is about an email that I got the other day. Um, this is sort of my response to it, in case you've gotten the same email. There's a company offering to do DNA tests to see if you're an empath. Isn't that interesting? A DNA test, the, the two aren't connected. That's just silly. But yet there they are offering it. I need to know if I'm an empath. They just took my name off the list on the internet. For scams or something. It's only I can figure out. Um, those who are empaths know they are. They don't need a DNA to test to tell them. They're sensitive about everything. And the thing that I've noticed is that empathy is growing. It's not as you would think with all the things that are happening. When you have things that are not going well, em uh, people tend to shut that part off. They tend to shut empathy off if they can. But empathy is, it's growing. It's, there are more empaths today than there were 10 years ago. I know because every place I go, I notice and can feel the suffering of, empaths suffer greater than anybody else. And if you're an empath, you know what I'm talking about. You tend to pick up the feelings of people around you. And during bad times or when things are not going well, um, there's a lot more to pick up. Um, but that's a terrible, it's, my guys are showing me a funny joke, which I can't say. Okay, I guess I can. When there's, when there's elephants in a parade, there's more poop to scoop up. That's just strange. They always try to give me something funny to get me through the day. But when things are tough and times are hard, there's a lot more angst out there and empaths suffer greater than anybody else. And you don't, uh, there's all kinds of levels of em empath. I mean, you can be someone who's so empathic they can't leave the house. Or you could just be um, less. You get what I'm talking about. Not everybody's fully empathic. So, it's, being empathic is not, is not connected to your DNA. Otherwise, families who have four children in them, they would all be empathic. And yet you know that's not true. That one person might be empathic, the other one's a horrible uh, malcontent, the other one's shy, and it, everybody's different. Why? Because spiritually we're different. Everybody's spirit is completely unique as to, to any other spirit. And that's what determines whether you're empathic or not. That and your environment. You cannot be empathic and lose your mother or your father, and all of a sudden you are empathic because it makes you that way. The loss of a loved one, someone's saying it really loudly. Maybe I didn't get that right. Loss of a loved one, someone you really cared about, or just a good friend, or a child, or, or anything. Sometimes it's a dog. I sat with a guy one day, um, he was in his 80s, I guess, and he was a survivor of the Holocaust. It's been 20 years ago. I remember him clearly. And he had the tattoos on his arm. Until you've seen that, you, I mean, that's very strange to see numbers on someone's arm. He didn't point it out. I just noticed it. He had a short sleeve shirt on and he was sitting there. And I saw that number, and I thought, well, this guy suffered a lot. Highly empathetic. Highly empathetic. And you could tell little things would set him off, that he would begin, and he began to cry there. 
And I stopped what I was doing. I asked him what, what the problem was. And he said, well, he lost his dog the other day. And it, was, it was a horrible thing to him. Yet he had lived through the, these horrible death camps, these World War II things. He survived it. So but the passing of this dog meant something to him. And he, he couldn't stop crying. He didn't stop crying till, I, till I, and I was gone and he was still crying. But yet, then began to talking about his brother who had died about the same time, a couple of months before. He talked about that before the dog. The first thing that came out was that his brother died a couple of months ago and said, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. And didn't shed a tear. He was hmm, slightly upset, but... And why it came up in a conversation, I don't know. It's just when I enter a room, people start telling me these things because they know I'll listen. But when he got to the dog dying, he's full on tears, pulled out a handkerchief. Isn't it interesting? Handkerchiefs aren't used by today's people. You go back 30, 40 years, everybody carried a handkerchief, if not just to give it to a woman who was crying. Um, I carried one for years and years till so someone said, why are you carrying that handkerchief? We use Kleenex. I thought, okay. But he had that thing on his face, wiping tears the whole, at, once he got to the dog part. So a lot of it's in, environmental and um, age has a lot to do with it too, because the older you are, the more things you've lost that you value, the more terrible things that have happened to you. And so, so my guys are showing me a long story. I can't, I can't tell that story. But mediums have to peel away those layers of angst in order to get to the point to be a, to be a medium. And being angry is the first one. Not that you should ever stop crying because the pain is always going to be there. It'll be less, but it never goes away. That, that man's probably not around anymore. And I wonder if my guy showed me him sitting in that old chair because he's around right now. He's an interesting guy. And I was late for my next thing I was supposed to do, but I just, I just couldn't leave what he was talking about. It was he, all kinds of things related to his history. And I thought, well, this is a, this is a lesson. I can't, I can't just pick up and leave. I've got to listen to this guy because he's telling the truth. And the truth is a valuable thing. I know I'm rambling again. I always do that. My guys are telling me I'm rambling. Anyway, being an empath, empath is not genetic. And I don't care if they say it is. I don't care if they have proof it is. It's baloney. Because DNA, it means that everybody in your family is genetically linked. But every spirit's different. And every spirit ha handles emotion different, differently. And within a family, you see four or five people and they're all different. And if it were true of DNA, they'd all be equally emp empathic, but they're not. Empathy is in your spirit. It's there from the beginning. It's stamped in there. You either have it or you don't. And it's possible for several empathetic people to live in the in the uh, same household, but they're not empathetic for the same reason. They're empathetic because their spirit is that way. And then an accumulation of things that have happened to them will cause them to display great amounts of empathy. Anyway, I declined to take the test, but I thought I'd do a video about it. Em Empathy, being empathic. If you're an empath, you know you are. You get around someone who's suffering and you begin to suffer too. And that's what it means. You take on the, you feel what they feel. And that happens to me in readings all day long. That if someone's, whatever it is, and if I'm talking to a spirit that's passed, I, I take on whatever it is that they're, they went through. You can feel everything. So anyway, 
demystifying a myth. Um, empathy is something you're born with. Your spirit has it. Um, it's not DNA linked. I don't believe it's environmental and spiritual. But that down. being an empath is spiritual and environmental. See, wandered around, yapping, came back to the original thought. Very interesting. I wish y'all happiness and success. As Spock would say, live long and prosper. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.